Hello there everybody. Welcome back to Groundswell Ecosystems YouTube channel. I'm Nicola Kench. This is Project Alteration. Slow down fast fashion, covet what you own, make the ordinary extraordinary and glam it up for Mother Earth. This series of videos is effectively a quick sew series of videos, getting rid of the sewing machine and going back to absolute basics. How can you actually make things, fix things, darn things, alter things, literally without a sewing machine and by doing it by hand? <laughs> okay, I haven't invented this technique. It's like 90 billion years old. <laughs> Back to basics. Let's see what we can do with nothing. That's where the fascination lies often. <laughs> so you see behind me, <laughs> I'm reversing. You see behind me um, the treasured subject of today's video. Okay, now I am a person, all right? I'm probably a little bit old fashioned in this regard. I'm a person who likes a pajama. Oh, I like a pajama. End of a long day shower and into the pajama. This treasured pajama set is absolutely divine. It's vast. It's cotton, and I absolutely love it. It's my 100% favorite. It's like the top of the list when it comes up at the top of the pile, and you think, "Oh, it's the light blue, blue pajama season." Fantastic. Okay. Anyhow, there is a problem with this um, set of pajamas, and that it's been ripped, tragically ripped on the. Um, on the legs, of course, upset, upset, upset. So today we're going to look at how to fix that super easily by hand in what I would like to think is an hyper funky way. I love the word hyper funky, French for, not exactly French, but more like franglais for hyper funky. So today is, in summary, hyper funky darning. <laughs> what I'm starting with here is just a quick pan over some kind of decorative, well, some of it was darning, some of it was just decoration that I've been doing recently, experimenting with. And panning over to the forlorn site, the very forlorn site of the tear in the legs of my favourite pair of pyjamas, my much esteemed, highly esteemed, sacred favourite pair of pyjamas. So there you go. Yes, they've been well worn. So what we're going to do today is we're going to experiment with a very similar technique to actually fix these pyjama pants very quickly, very, very easily. Hi there. So what I have here are clearly my torn, my terribly torn pants, and I've actually got a selection of wools, believe it or not. Now these are my, this is literally for me like, um, like a painting palette, okay? Um, I'm a color freak and with these you get to literally, they're incredibly cheap by the way, sorry, these are double knit acrylic yarns. And with these, you get to literally just experiment and play around with different colors really, really, really easily, okay? I am going to thread up, I'm going to choose a color. <laughs> not hard for me, being a fan of all things neon, not hard, not a hard choice, right? not something that's got me cogitating for the rest of the afternoon. Actually, I'm not going to go for the light blue because I want something more, <laughs> more of a statement. All right, so I'm actually going to go for this bright pink, which I totally adore. But there, as you see, is a selection of these types of wools, incredibly easy to find online. All you do is you can just go to eBay or whatever your supplier is and you type in double knit. It often comes up, it's double knit yarn. It will come up very often as a D and a K, DK. Now I will close up in a, in a minute about how I'm actually doing this, how I'm going to sew this. The needle that I'm using, and I'm going to close up on this in a second, is actually a big eyed. It's got a big old eye. Uh, I love it. I wish I could actually see through it. That would be like, whatever. Anyhow, okay, it's got a big eye and it's got a sharp point. So it's really useful for getting through kind of bits of fabric, but actually with thicker stuff. So the one I'm actually going to choose is the pink. And because it is what it is and because I'm experimenting with um, hyper funky darning, um, I am actually going to thread this up and do this darning. Yes, this darning. I love darning. Darning is such an old thing. People, you know, in, in, in our cultures, obviously, well, our globe is very kind of, you know, consumers, we're so quick. But, you know, literally decades ago, people, people didn't just constantly buy new things. They fixed what they had. It's a thing of beauty. So here we go. So I'm fixing my favorites, right? Here we go. I've got my, my wool on my sharp, um, my sharp needle with the big eye so I can get it all through there. And I've done it double threadedly, right? So I'm just putting a knot at the end. Okay, I'll deal with that end when I start sewing. All right, now because I 
I, I want to, <laughs> this is actually sort of exhibitionist darning, if anything, because I want this bright pink to show on the outside, because I'd rather do that than kind of pretend it isn't happening. All right, you see, there's nothing being swept under the carpet around here. Right, so I'm going to turn this around, take off all of this kind of nonsense on the outside. And what I have here is I've got my two bits, all right, that I've kind of sort of neatened up slightly. A little bit of thread there. All right. Um, and now I'm just going to roughly pin them together. I am sewing on the outside. I want to stress that I'm sewing on the outside because I want to see this gorgeous splash of colour. I think it's around my left ankle. Who knows? Okay, right. We shall <laughs> find that out when I next wear these. All right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put the knot inside, pull it through. Okay. Now, of course, you might want you might not want to be an exhibitionist darner. You might want to be somebody who does something in a really subtle way, and you might want to like you know have a completely complementary color, and you might want to darn on the inside. All of that stuff. What I do want to say is that this way of going about it can be really speedy and really effective and really strong. Okay. Right. The ones that I showed you earlier on were things where I altered the, 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 um, the sleeves, etc. And I'll be showing you that some more in a, in a later video. So here we go. Oh, I love this type of sewing. <laughs> this is like, it's so ancient. Literally primal. This is primal sewing, everybody. You know, they find those people and they've been frozen to death and they come out of the, they come out of the slow or whatever it is, 99 million years later and they're just so glamorous okay i swear to you prehistory they were knocking about they were glamming up they were like dripping in jewels right they were dripping in rock jewels and um and they were glammed up to the nines they had like you know boots and hats and they you know engraved things they decorated things so you know don't sweat all right about trying to incorporate glamour in your life much as i am glamour is as old as time right so here we go I'm going to do a close-up in a second. <laughs> right. This is funky exhibitionist historic darning, everybody. <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> right. Okay. I want to actually turn this around so that you can, um, you can see as I do it. Right. There we go. Close-up. I love the, um, the pastel blue with the bright pink. It adds, as they say, it makes the pink pop all right then okay so just carrying on a bit as you see absolutely the most basic of the basic there we go super quick you don't have to bring out the sewing machine look these are pjs do you know what i'm saying i'm not exactly going to be you know spotted in john lewis in them even though to tell you the truth our local news agent has like a long history of people shopping there in their pajamas <laughs> And to tell you the honest, I once went in there in my gown <laughs> and I got into the second aisle and I found another lady also with her gown on and PJs. We just laughed. Oh dear, how we laughed. Bless. It's our proper local local across the road. So people are like, oh, whatever. I've got to go get some whatever. I've got to go get some chocolate now. All right. In their PJs. So there you go. Knit. I mean, not knit. God. So, 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 all right, uh, that honestly in itself, look at that, that is proper primitive, neon primitives, all right, um, <laughs> that is um, done in itself, I'm just, I'm very tempted to go back the other way, that honestly would survive, that's super strong, nothing fancy, quick, 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 unbelievably quick i like the look of it you're not fussed you're not getting out the sewing machine nothing there you go hmm temptations tempt i actually like it as it is um it's strong enough i promise you i've done quite a wide little seam there i've chunked into it i'm actually going to leave it as it is exactly as it is i'm just finishing off the end by going over a few times there you go oopsie over a few times and i'm sewing into the seam Oops, sewing into the seam. There you go. Just sewing into the seam so that the thread doesn't come out. And as I said, obviously you might want to be less of a neon exhibitionist than I in my local news agent in my pyjamas. Um, and so um, you might want to tone in the colour or do it on the inside or whatever it is. No fuss, super quick.
All right, I quickly want to show you, um, I want to show you this needle, all right, the world of needles. Can you see that? It's got, I want to turn it on its side. It's got, let's bring, it's got a big eye. Look at that big eye. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a um, tapestry needle. It's got a big eye, but it's got a sharp end. Ow, not ow. Demonstration. Right. There you go. So there you go. There's an exemplar of funky, primitive neon darning. <laughs> And my favourite um, pastel blue pure cotton pyjamas have been reinstated to their top of the pile status in my pyjama life. Happy, happy, happy. So what I'm really trying to prove with this is that you don't have to fuss it out. All right. You can do something really simple and just get the results that you need. All right. There you go. Yes. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Grantswell Ecosystems' YouTube channel, Everyday and Systemic Steps to an Eco-Positive Grantswell. I'm Nicola Kench. This is Project Alteration, and this is the Quick Sew series. As you see, I've just gone and done some wild primitive neon darning, and bang, it's done like that. All you need is that double knit wool you can get all over the internet and you need a nice sharp tapestry type needle which has got a nice big eye to fit the wool in and a nice sharp point and bang you can fix stuff that you've been meaning to fix for ages you don't have to bin and that you can repurpose back into your heart and your life. <laughs> Much like my light blue pyjamas. Top of the pile, top of the pile, right. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. I'm going to continue to use those techniques to show you how to make some more clothes, literally from nothing. A nice big old chunky ancient type needle, some nice bright wool, or not so bright as you might want or need, and let's go make some things from absolutely nothing. This is my current fascination. How do we remove all barriers to entry? How do we make things with absolutely nothing, aka no sewing machine, no disrespect, love, your sewing machines love all the sewing machines in the world no disrespect but i wanted to take it down a notch even so that anybody could get involved right thank you for watching i'm going to do all of this in a second right? um all of this stuff like share subscribe hit the notifications button i am on like i'm treading you know what i'm treading with my big old stick i am on a journey of experimentation and discovery regarding sustainable ways of living okay the project alteration project as i'm sure you know if you've been watching the videos is about slowing down fast fashion learning how to covet and love what you own already making the ordinary extraordinary and glamming it up for Mother Earth. Thank you for watching.